Guys, Paul here. I'm going to give you a quick demo of Infusionsoft. Uh, I've just started using it. It is really cool. Um, CRM, campaign builder. Uh, you can link it to your website as a member with Memberium, um, which is extra. But uh, I'm going to talk you through product, uh, campaign, and then CRM. So basically, when you log in, I'm going to, this is a live account, so I'm going to be careful of where I'm going. Uh, so you, in the nav top, there you can see. <clears throat> your CRM information, you can see, um, you can go to your contacts and see everything about a contact. You can go companies, if there's multiple contacts to companies. Uh, you're going to have your opportunities like any CRM. Then what's really cool is the referral partner area where you set up your referral partners so that if you're selling something on your website, you will give specific links to a partner <clears throat> where they log in Um and um, they share it on their Facebook or with their friends and any links they get coming in, you give them a bit of a commission. The campaigns are your email broadcasts, but your campaign builder is where you build out a sequence. So when something happens, um, you, you uh, can basically go through and um, uh, set up a sequence easily. So that you know if someone comes in, it's a sales lead, uh, they fill out a form that then triggers a sequence which then goes to your salesman which then waits for the salesman to complete a task which then sends an email which then you know and then goes into a sales funnel info uh, it's really cool really easy to use and then e-commerce so you want to sell products and stuff right so you're gonna have a product to sell Um, so what are we saying what, what should I show you first so I'd like to say, I want to be careful because this is a live account and uh, and there's already stuff in there. So, oh, it's, I've got some stuff I need to do. So, um, let's say test campaign, right? So, what we're we saying, we create a campaign. So, what we're going to do is, is create, say you've got a, a, let's think, security. You've got a, you've got a, a page on your website or we can be a landing page right so we can create a landing page on your website that's about um, a new security product uh, and then that's going to go into a sequence so basically if someone goes in let me and this is a form uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go format. Oh no! Let me delete that. That's Laurie and uh, and James. That's whose webs. It was Infusionsoft. This is. Uh, so, you would create a, a landing page. So, let me. Uh, what do I do quickly? What should I do quickly? I don't know. First name. Yeah, first name. Email. I've literally done this off the fly, this this demo. So I'm sorry, it's not um, it's not fully uh, cohesive. So then I submit. Then above there, you might put um, you'd put your spiel right. So you'd 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 have an image of your security. Pro you'd set out a landing page properly. So there'd be say it's a burger, a new burger alarm or a new camera on the system, and you'd have a picture of the camera. You'd have its specs. You'd have a a full. Um, landing page and then a and then a, a, a form what would you like to know more it fill the form out right so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess about too much because it's I mean you're just here to see what it can do not to see it specific right so that would be basically be a landing page so then if I go back to the campaign come on If I go back to the campaign, so if somebody filled out that form, then what's going to happen to it is it's going to go into a sequence. So this sequence then is going to send them an email. So we're going to say, send an email. Um, you might have a you might have a set email, right? Um, so say it's like this one. I would recommend just doing a basic email, but you might say send this email, and it might be here's the camera. You change it, camera, spec, camera, price. Uh, you probably won't put that, but yeah. And you can change it, right? 
when you turn it on, um, you can test it. I can send it to myself if I wanted to. Look, I, I could go test to Paul Nicholson and it'd send me an email, right? So that would send them an email saying, oh, thank you for contacting us. Here's a little bit more information. Our salesman will contact you soon. So then you would add a tag that would be um, sale, sale contact, yeah? Create that tag, so sale contact. So this must be part of your funnel. Then you would go, um, voice, letter. Then you would, what would you do after that? You would go, set value, apply, create task, right? So here we go. So then you would say, create a task for type an email, uh, contact customer, contact customer about cameras, right? And then you would assign that to whoever whoever it is. So you would sign it, say that's me. So this would be a salesman, you'd say, right, send it to so-and-so, that's, that's who's dealing with this product. Uh, and that would assign him um, critical, give it a thing, notify owner, it'd, it'd tag them. So basically, so what's now doing is, is so if I go back to the landing page is filled out on your website or a form or you know an email or whatever, or you, you make this in, 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 in Fusionsoft, you, you create a contact, it then goes into this, um, into this, uh, this sequence, camera funnel sequence, right? Save. So then let's create a task. So when there's a lot of funky stuff, I'm not, I'm not, um, I've not done a load of stuff, but there's all sorts it can do. So when you go here to task complete, you can go, once that task contact customers complete, that sequence is, is done. Then we can go into another sequence that becomes customer follow up or, you know, so, um, so you might put, um, delay timer, right? You might put wait here five days, five days at 8 a.m. and then send a follow up email that is you know just checking in how are things, you know, better than that. Any questions, you know where I am, right? You know, whatever that might be. It may even just be, um, it may even just be a task. Uh, da, da, da. So it might even be just a task, you know, follow up with customer, follow up camera. You know, set priority might be able to get upset with me. I think you're getting the gist. Um, and it's the same. It's the same as uh, if you're selling something on your website. So if I went product purchased, so if you've got a shot a cart on your website or a product, you can put that into that sequence, right? So basically, if if someone uh, any purchase, what you would do, I don't really want to click on it. Um, because those are their, their, their products, so I don't mean to see them. But you basically would go and you'd set up a product, which is dead simple. You'd put it on your website, somebody bought it, they would, they would link, they would come to this shopping cart and then go into that sequence. Or you might say, this, is, this jumps into, into that sequence. But I've never seen anything as simple as, as Infusionsoft on getting customer information, getting... Um, getting them into a sequence and then building it out. It's so intuitive to build it out yourself. Um, so here, look on the CRM, you could you could actually put in here. So this is get information and then you could do on your opportunity, you could drop in opportunity stage changed. Oh, oh it doesn't like me doing that. So maybe I need to go from here, yeah. It's funky, right? So it's just a task complete. And maybe to there. So it might be 
we're moving into please select new opportunity goes to working yeah so then you go uh doo -doo. maybe see i haven't i haven't got this far in depth of it so basically here you might go it won't let me there will it uh Creator. Okay, so what we'd have to do is is this. Put in the opportunity there. So you would uh, last achieved API, open stage, move, opportunity stage, web page, email, confirm, so like. Oh, it doesn't want to go there. So there's obviously theories to where you can and can't put it. Uh, yeah, delete that. So there, yeah, you would put that in there. You might have a welcome stage in the nest. That might be that might be a, a new opportunity. And then afterwards, you would possibly put in your CRM over here after this next sequence opportunity gone to to one. Uh, and then that would lead into another sequence where you go send a welcome email, uh, send a sign up email, send a page, uh, send like a contact form. I'll create opportunities here, look, that's what I should have done. So basically I should have gone in this one, it should have been title, title, create opportunity, and then opportunity title, camera required, or camera interest, right? Starting stage, new opportunity, assign user. So you could you can assign assign the user as a salesman, uh, one at a time. That's the round robin. Or um, you could set up the salesman. So I'll put lorry people, but uh, it's not going to go to lorry. So that would create a unit opportunity. So that would be that sequence. <laughs> so this is getting a lot longer than I expected, but I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool how you build out these funnels and these purchases and this information you know this might just be a, a contact form on your website for request a quote or or need more information that drops them into a system where you can track it and go through so um i really should show you and test that but i don't really want to go through it um fully so basically what they do is they fight they fill out a form on your website they go through the sequence all these automatic things will happen. If they bought something, they'd jump past that sequence and then they would go into um, different ways here. So what it does, let me show you a little bit if I can. So these are the tasks. So I've got this task to do. Uh, I'm just gonna snooze it. So when, when, you're, when your salesmen log in, they're gonna get the tasks there, right? So if I go to contacts, I'll just show you me. Pull up, pull. Oh, starts with. I don't want to show you anybody else, so I'll make sure the search is proper, right? So you're gonna go, Paul Nicholson. So this is me, right? So you're gonna go here, and now I've got a full CRM. I've got um, Facebook website, Twitter, all my links, I've got emails, I've got a history, I've got, I can see what campaigns I'm on. So this is what's already happened, this is a previous test of mine. Uh, so I could add myself to a sequence, which is, uh, oh, I haven't, I haven't launched it, right? This is actually the membership sequence, but what you could do is, if somebody phoned you up and said, um, I want some information on the camera, you would add sequence and then click here to add to the camera sequence. And that would automatically drop that person into that sequence. And that sequence would begin after the form filled out. Um, and you'd have their information and you'd see, you know, the opportunity would be created, the orders, uh, you create quotes, you create, um, uh, you, you, you would add an opportunity, it'd create an opportunity where you're tracking that status. I'm sort of going through this faster now. Here's the referral stuff where you give you give partners 
you know, uh, links to share on their Facebook. When they share the link, it tracks it. If that customer then buys, they get a commission um, and you get reports and settings. But I think it's really cool. I think it's it's next level internet online marketing. If you're paying marketers, which I know a lot of you are paying marketers, and you're not putting them into campaigns where you're getting that person's name and then dropping them into a set campaign where they're going through your sequence as you want them, then uh, then <clears throat> you, you, you're kind of missing out on some easy opportunities to, um, to you know, to get more out of, get more out of a sales lead, to see if they're really interested, to see if the cat tire kicking, to, to find the hot leads versus the, the not so hot ones. Uh, it's, it's like 300 bucks a month. Um, I know this was kind of a, like a, I was wary of, of what I'm showing you. So what I'll show you pricing because that obviously is going to be your next question. Um, so it's one, if you're going to do sales automation, you need at least the $300 version. There's two versions there. The, the recommended one's 379 a month for five users. So if you've got a few, um, Salesman, you're going to need at least five users, possibly. So I would say the 379, you get oh, the, the whole shebang, sales and e-commerce. Uh, I don't know, you might not do e-commerce. You might just be looking to get uh, web forms filled out. But um, so it's, I mean, but for sake of 70, 80 bucks a month, you might as well just go for this version and get get the full shebang. What you then have to do is pick out a, a Kickstarter uh, onboarding process where they will go through and... Um, set up your first campaign. So you see that campaign is there. You would have a call. You would have you would have a, a series of I think three or four calls that are ninety minutes long, where you would say, right, we've got this new camera coming out. We want to do a full sequence on it, and it, and an Infusionsoft partner, a certified partner, would give you um, the time to uh, set that up for you. They, they they walk you through it all, make sure your whole system was correct and uh, set it up, which is pretty cool. If you pay the little bit extra, what they do is um, they do three campaigns. So they work with you on three different campaigns to start you off uh, and, and really get you going. What they do with this Kickstarter version is they bring this price down to 300 a month. So if you think the difference you have to have one so there's a thousand dollars difference you could probably get a bit of working on pricing there if you ask um they bring this down to 303 a month so they're saving 80 a month so in theory within a year and you're going to be using this for two or three years four years five years in theory in their upsell is it pays for itself to go for three campaigns because they bring down the membership value to 300 a month um, so you save 80 bucks a month going for the Kickstarter. That's what they're trying to sell. But you do get you do get um, an, an Infusionsoft expert. We've been using Blake at mymarketingnerd.com. He's great. You know, he, you know, if you send him emails direct, he'll he'll probably hook you up. Um, so I think it's really cool. I've not been, you know, the people I'm working with uh, as our team. We're logging in there and we're loving it, and it's so easy. Uh, any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below wherever you're watching. Um, have a great day. See you all again soon. Thanks for watching.